Hi everyone, Tamara here. Today I am going to talk you through the simple steps on how to hand baste your quilt. Now this quilt is quite small, it's a baby blanket and it's a puff quilt which I have a tutorial on so I will link that up above. But this quilt, I still felt like it needed to be hand tied, that way all of the layers will stay nice and firm and together when I actually throw it in the wash. So I have actually used basting pins just to hold my entire quilt together while I work on it. I've done a bunch of my ties already, so I don't know if you can see here. I decided I wanted to match my ties along with the fabric. So all of my ties I'm going from the blue squares so that it's a little more hidden. And then on the back, the blue matches perfectly so you won't be able to see the ties. They're more for function than for beauty this time around, although I do think that hand tied quilts are absolutely gorgeous. Before I jump into this tutorial, I would like to mention that everything that I've used within this tutorial, like the basting pins, will be linked in the description down below. All right, let's jump into that tutorial. All right, so I am going to use embroidery thread to do my ties, but yarn does work as well. It's a bit thicker, but this trick to get your thread or yarn through your needle works the same. So what you'll do is you'll take your thread or yarn and you will just fold it over your needle. You'll pull so that it's nice and snug and then pinching it. And then you're just going to wiggle the head over top of that pinched fold. Then you'll be able to pull your thread through and that's how you can thread your needle. Especially if it's thicker yarn, then that trick is very helpful. So I have doubled up my embroidery thread and now I am going to push it from one square. I'm gonna push it on through and then I'm going to take my needle and pull it so that I'm leaving about three inches on the one side and then I'm gonna pop it up in the corner of the other blue square and then I'll pull it through and I will leave three inches on that side as well. All right, so I don't know if you can see because of course I'm doing it with matching thread, but I've come out on the other side of my square. So I'm gonna pull that on through and I've got my two ties. So I'll cut that off so I've got three inches on both sides and then we will tie it. All right, so before we actually tie our threads, I do wanna mention that if you tie it too tight, what you'll end up doing is you'll end up putting a lot of pressure on the fabric and you may create a hole. So this trick will help you make sure that your knot is nice and secure so it won't come undone in the wash. However, it will make it so that it has a little bit of space that way, once it's nicely cinched tight, it's not actually tugging on your fabric and ruining your fabric. And so now let me show you how you actually tie this puff quilt. You're going to take your two ends, your two three inch pieces, and you want to do a shoelace tie. But don't cinch it up right away because once you put it through the loop the first time, you'll want to put it through the loop a second time and then pull it snug. This will give you that little bit of extra space so that you don't damage the fabric. Once you've done that first knot, then do the same, just using the opposite string. That way you've essentially done two knots. Once you have created those two knots, then you can cinch it nice and tight and you'll be able to tell that the knot itself is tight, but because you looped your thread through twice, it gave it that natural space so that it's not tugging on the fabric itself, creating a tension that could damage the fabric. And then all that is left to do is to snip those threads the length that you would prefer. For this particular one, using the embroidery thread, I thought a half inch looked really nice, so that's where I cut it at. And of course, once all of those ties are done and set, do not forget to take out all of those basting pins. And there you go, you have officially hand tied your quilt. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Please like this video if you do. Subscribe if you want more creative content. I have a new video that will come out every Friday. 
And as always, click that notification bell so that you don't miss any of those future videos. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, and did I mention I do have a tutorial for this puff quilt. I hope that you'll check that out. It's an awesome sewing project and I loved putting it together. I think it turned out quite nice, especially with the added ruffle, which I also have a tutorial on how to make. All right, I think that's all I have to say. So happy crafting. Bye.